thanks for staying with us now. If you're just tuning in, we're discussing preserving the future of the girl child. And remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or send us an SMS or WhatsApp on um, 081-803-84. 663. Um, we'll tell our producers to keep the, the numbers on because I hear a lot of people say we don't see the numbers to, to send the messages on. So they'll keep flashing the numbers on from time to time. All right. So, Isi, um, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, um, I like what uh, Mrs. Ojo said about, you know, um, and this is the big issue. So when we talk about fighting things, right, let us look at it holistically, right? So, and when she talked about having cases 15 years, Having cases 10 years. No resolution. Pending. Do you understand? It makes no sense to me. Exactly. So when we're fighting for reforms, mm -hmm. right? The judiciary, for instance, can we have a situation where when there's a case, for instance, of a girl that has been raped, just 10 like days. Justice for Uwa. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Justice for Tina, justice for Uwa. The young girl now that was raped in Kaduna, I mean, we've not found her, out what her name but is. But have we seen who did the one to Uwa? So do you get my point? Can we start to find mm -hmm. holistic solutions where we know that in a short time, this we we get um, answers quickly, right? We're able to resolve issues quickly. You know, right? One, one thing about this is those that are responsible for this. Somebody knows somebody that knows somebody that have, must have done this crime or perpetrated this crime, you know. But they will not come out to state that oh. I know the person that did this thing to Uwa. I know this person that did this thing to, Tin, to Tina. Just because of the fact that they're doing some kind of Egbon moves or something. It's not even Egbon, Seth. The police. I mean, you it know what happened to me. It comes back to Egbon. It, at mm -hmm. the end of the day, it's You were like, there. This is it's my not, person. I'm even happy you're the one on set with me. <laughs> when, when that man yes. hit my car, mm -hmm. I mean, when I called the, PR, the police um, PR of Lagos, he was telling me, that if that man woman. should tell you that that was a police report, mm -hmm. he knows he dares not tell you what he gave you was a police report. Exactly. Because that man does... I went to a police station. He f fraudulently collected money from me for a police report that, that was, was non-existent. Another thing so about... So you are saying that... So even mm -hmm. in these cases of mm -hmm. crime that we're talking about, mm -hmm. right? it is the police that will go behind and say that, ah, there's a case so... But you know what? I can help you let it go away. Mm -hmm. But you settle me. So when we, it, when we talk about justice, even for mm -hmm. the girl child that's mm -hmm. just been molested, mm -hmm. the only way we can fight it is if the system is free Works from corruption. Works hand in hand. And another thing is this. We do not have a, a credible forensic um, department in Nigeria. Because if something like this has happened in, had happened abroad, somebody will come out and say, okay, let's have a forensic um, analysis, assess the goal, assess the environment. But in this case, nobody's Can going I to do anything you? like that. Can I shock what? you? Please do. In Nigeria, mm. if the police want to fish you out. Oh, yes. <laughs> I agree. You think, you think you know forensics? I totally if agree. If the police want to fish you out in this country, I... trust me, they will go and commit a crime. Then you will not know whether the police, they are actually, they know their job or not. But another, another way we can look at the girl child is culturally. There you go. Okay. The girl child has been put in such a position that they have been relegated to the background that they do not have a voice. In some cultures. In a lot of cultures, not just in Africa or developing countries, but also abroad or let's say Middle East to be precise. So you, you see, we have, um, according to um, a research, in one of my researches, I discovered that at least 60% of the countries still discriminate against daughters' rights to inherit land and non-land assets in either law or practice. In my, in my place, they don't give us anything. Hmm. The man is the one that is given um, cognizance, that is recognized. Even if the girl is the one that has all the money, is the man that doesn't have one cupboard to bring for a <laughs> funeral or anything that would be called upon to say, oh, that is the first son. Mm. And given all the accolades, the girl is, is relegated to the background. So I think it is essential, it is essential for all um, the girls to come out and stand for their right culturally. Mm -hmm. And this starts from every culture or every um, belief system we have. I, 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 I hear you. And you know, for me, what was more important for me this year, mm. you know, because the theme for this year is my voice, our equal future. Mm 
Yes. Right? Yes. And what they are asking for, these young girls, is not something that is too extraordinary. Mm -hmm. These are simple things, right? It's, it's just something that if you look deep, mm -hmm. in the end, it will benefit all, right? We're asking for um, skills. Free gender-based right? violence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Access to health. Hmm. skills, recognition, and investment as leaders of social change. I mean, the young girl that started the movement for um, climate change that went round, you know. Yes. The girl that started the movement for climate change, the, the woman, what's her name now? Um, I've forgotten <clears> her. The, the chief just, uh, um, mm. Supreme um, Court just, judge that just passed. RBG. That, uh, yes. That, uh, what's his name? <laughs> President Donald Trump is being political about. <laughs> you know, if she did not stand up for that right, Mm. Where would all the young female lawyers be today, today. In, in, America? in America? So, you see, when we're talking about freedom, when we're talking about rights, we're not just... Because people always say that, oh, women, we are too, we're feeling so much entitlement and all of that. Mm. In Nigeria, if we bring it back home, politically, how well are women represented? Right? And Let even, us not play and lip services they are anymore. are represented, are they given the right to, you know air their views and implement whatever thing they're trying to yeah. put across. So let's not place lip services anymore. Mm -hmm. For me, two things are very important, right? Protect, protect, protect. The thing that breaks my heart the most mm -hmm. is when I see or hear that a young girl has been raped. For me, I feel it's outright negligent. Now, something happened to me recently. Okay. So I won't mention the person, so I don't, it doesn't seem like I'm calling the person out. out. <laughs> you know, this person has a young girl, a nine, uh, I think a nine-year-old or an eight-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. And so I think the person is getting a lot busier with work. Mm. So she now goes, um, well, there's a young man that has a, do a child. Now, I don't know what sex that child is okay. in the same school. So what I've said is that the days I cannot go and pick her up from school, the young man will just go and help me pick. Ah! That's because as if no, all no. my senses came up. That's a no-no. I said, wait, <laughs> is it that all the one that we've been talking about, mm -hmm. molestation, and it's like you are not hearing, you know? Mm -hmm. So I called. This person called. I made sure I said, you know, everybody called. Mm. Uh, okay, I've heard. Oh, I have heard. I'll do. I said, no. So you need to understand. We're not fighting. We're not attacking. We're it's saying that. Stating. No, we are saying that you must be able to, first of all, isolate every element of exposure to that to child. That, that scenario. So now, where are the skits? Because I wrote mm -hmm. it down. I've talked about Olotore, the movie. Yes. When, when, when you watch that movie, you would understand how that, that prostitution works. That's where we come from. We are, Edo, mm -hmm. we are from Edo State. Yes. We know how they go to recruit young girls for prostitution. Exactly. Telling you that, ah, I won't give you better here life. To work. We they go Italo for better life. You know, I they go, you know. Not even Italo. Oh, you they go abroad. You they go I Europe, you know. Dong. You know, I they go Jant. Mm -hmm. And Jant. We, know how they, we know how they recruit young girls for prostitution. Exactly. Right? That is the culture there. When my father saw that, you know, very, imagine, my father is over 70. Mm -hmm. He saw that from a young age and said, I will not raise my children in, in this, this environment. environment. And that was how he moved to Kaduna State and had all of us in the North. Hmm. And this culture is still very much prevalent in Edo State. Funny enough, I grew up there, but I wasn't exposed no, to No, that's such my point. Wait, let, let's even go, let's even mm -hmm. break it down. So that culture is still very much prevalent there. Mm -hmm. So I am so happy that um, Moabudu and Omoni Eboli came together and they did a movie based on a true life story of a reporter, you know, that experienced that and they did that movie mm -hmm. to shine the light on the... If you watch that movie, you will never want to think about going into prostitution. That's one, okay. right? Now, the movie that Stephanie Linus did mm -hmm. on child marriage, I don't think any man in his right senses that watches that movie would want to go into having a teenager or even a toddler for a wife. 
Mm -hmm. So now, where are the comedians? We did this end SARS protest. Rugged man on Friday on our show talked about, when I asked him, I said, what, are, what other things can we do? Outside of, okay, we are doing the protest. And, and he mentioned something. Skits. That can we start creating skits on, on uh, what's it called? On, uh, on, on, on NSARS. And interestingly, I saw about two skits, you know, yesterday. And I and saw today. another skit today. And guess what? It is making an impact. Exactly. So can we start to also create skits around the girl child? Around issues. What are the common issues about the girl child? You know, sexual abuse, lack of molestation, education. lack of education. Can we start to create those kids? Mm -hmm. Then can we also shine the light on our music videos, right? Music videos that always portray the girl child as an as idol of a sexual symbol. Exactly. Do you understand? And, you know, back in the days when you watch musical videos, girls are not there, you know, shaking their body. They are just there standing, dancing with dignity. But today, if something hasn't gone up and down, twerk it, twerk, 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 then you know that you, the dancing hasn't actually begun. <laughs> so, so I have some comments from our I, audience. We, we were um, just talking and forgot that we have audience. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Nifemi says, I think the awareness for the girl child needs to continue. Mm -hmm. The girl child is still endangered and needs to be protected always. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Um, Rolla Care is saying, I hope we see a Nigeria that will take a woman as a governor, president, the highest office. Then we know that the girl child awareness journey is all fired up. Buttressing her point, there okay, was something ahead. I saw online recently, and they said that the countries today that didn't actually have major catastrophe in terms of COVID, um, um, the pandemic, pandemic that. It was countries run by women, mm -hmm. that they ran it like they were running their homes. And I said it what, time and time again, women make the best leaders. Call, aside from that now, let me go back to the girl child and her relationship with her father. Mm -hmm. The first relationship every girl has is with her father. I'm stating this from what you, you said earlier on, mm -hmm. on the context of your father saw the environment in Benin and said, oh, I'm taking my daughter's out of this scene. Now, the first relationship every girl has is her father. Her father is a girl's first love. The moment every father tries to make the girl child feel important, that boosts the girl child's esteem. But the moment the girl child's esteem is brought down uh, in terms of, of, of her confidence, by her father, that is when the girl child starts looking for what she shouldn't be looking for Absolutely. out there. <laughs> Absolutely. So take, take it's your, your messages. <laughs> every father should mm -hmm. understand the, his role Absolutely. in the life I'm gonna, of a I'm girl gonna child. I'm going to say a word or two on that. Okay. Now, in my story, um, um, one of our viewers said his name is Saliu. He says, my opinion always stand focused on both children. Let everyone make sure we bring them up right and create equal opportunities. Opportunity. Bring them up it's, right and we create equal opportunities. And that's you know, when you talked about father, mm -hmm. I, I would say I really commend my father. Because in my home, in fact my parents actually, mm -hmm. in my home there was no boy, there was no girl. We did everything together. And this is what I keep saying. Because I do not have girls. Mm -hmm. I only have boys. So they know how to do everything. There is no boy or girl in my home. So my point is, you know, let, I, and I, I want to go back to what I said about our, my coach. Okay. While we are so focused on the girl child, let us not, it's like the way we were so focused on NSAS, NSAS, NSAS. SARS has ended now. They've disbanded what then. What next? Because Before. it is not, it is, see, let us not create a, cre, sorry, let's not create a lopsided um, uh, situation Narrative. where tomorrow the other party is suffering. You know, that was what, what happened many years ago. You know, it was focus, 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 focus on the boy child. Mm. You know, they were educating the boy child. It was always the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. That's the and cultural, that's what created this. You know, this, the, that's a cultural the many, problem we have. Yes. So even now that we're trying to correct what our parents did wrong, 
let us not create another problem for the future. Where we say, oh, in the independent woman, I don't need a man. You know, all those kind of uh, drama. It's not going to work. There must be a balance. There has to be a balance. Exactly. You know, there has to be a balance. I think I have one final comment that I can take at this moment. Okay. Having um, an overview of... Um, Having an overview of board executive across different sectors and company, mm -hmm. this tells you the girl child awareness drive is very far from over. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's from Angela. Now, if you look at the overview of boardrooms, right? Mm -hmm. If you check the boardrooms, because you they're still filled see, up with men. You still see a lot of men in topic. Um, but, and let me tell you, mm -hmm. I want to speak to the women, right? I want to speak to the women in this particular point that mm -hmm. Angela has raised. Please do. Women. When you have, you know, we, our ginger is plenty. Yes. They give you small power. You begin to raise shoulder. Hmm. Do you understand? When you have an opportunity to lead, lead with love, right? Do not lead and start to lord it over people. Lead with love. Lead with empathy. Lead with the, with the understanding that, you know what, I am not here for me. I am here for, for the many people that, that are, are coming, coming behind, behind me. Exactly. Because I have heard this thing time and time and again about women leaders being the most difficult leaders. I want to choose not to believe it, right? I will not you know, believe it. Because a lot of women, you know, when they go into those positions of authority, it's like, you know what, I want to be the only one that, no. Funny Let's, enough. Let us not play lip service to women supporting the, women. The if women were I truly supporting women. Best. The women have actually, the people I've actually worked with yes. best are mm. women. Absolutely. Not even the men. Absolutely. Actually. So yes. let women, let us support each other and mm -hmm. let us not be seen, you know, to just play lip service to women supporting women. Exactly. So for the girl child, today is your day. We celebrate with you and we know it can only get better. We'll continue to put um, the spotlight on the issues that need to be said. And we know your future is preserved because we are here. We will continue to talk about it. I mean, we're happy for technology. Absolutely. Technology is driving a lot of conversations that was not heard many, many years ago. And we will keep on talking about all of these issues. And for the girl child, it's also important that we know that each little girl is going to come up as a wonderful, amazing woman. So absolutely. we are not only grooming girl child, we're grooming amazing a nation. women. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode at 3 p.m. My producer is shouting, time off. <laughs> is it an <laughs> insightful conversation? Keep all the conversations going on all our social media mm -hmm. platforms at Wish Your Africa or at Plus TV Africa as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Don't be cold. Don't. Girls are worth more than gold. We are worth more than gold and diamonds and all the precious stones. Now, we'll see you live on Friday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Yeah, shouting time off, time off. We're already going. <laughs> Enjoy <Bye>. your evening. <laughs>